idea to do. I collect my new bike. Oh. Yeah, that's a real up. Down the HQ this morning. Should be a good day. A little bit rainy outside. Got a damp my spirits today though. Today's the day I collect my new bike. Been looking at this machine for, for the last six months. That's some really great reviews. Can't wait to pull the parts together and get it built with the guys in the tech center. Guys, nice strong coffee to start there. Let's get cracking. Nice coffee. Thanks Thank so much. Hey guys. There's more fuel of us. Yeah, like I can see I've been looking at these for four, six months, trying to decide which colour to go for. So many good colours in the range, and uh, it's the day to build, and I'm still not sure which is my favourite. I'm going to stick with me initial gut feeling. Um, the frame that I have is just here. So I've got it out of the box. I'm going to wrap it. Here we go. Really well packed, I think you might have to just unpack it a little bit. And there it is. Black spectral flare cast grey. There we go. Love the frame, got loads of detail. Um, the way they apply this paint at the back end, um, I'm told, I don't know if it's true or not, they put clean foam over the wet paint and then just peel it off and that leaves that unique kind of mottled effect at the back end. Love that. I think it's a super cool frame. This bike's going to be going over to Spain and spending most, most of its life over there so lots of big climbs in Spain so a nice lightweight wheel set. Um, it's also going to be a little bit aero and um, so I've decided to go with the Roval Alpinus wheel set which is these. Look really smart, super light. 1250 grams for a pair so incredibly light for a disc wheel set. Um, and we'll finish the bike off really well. Really looking forward to getting them on, giving them a ride. Not ridden these wheels, um, but I have ridden roll valves before. I really like them. They're not tubeless ready, which might horrify a few people, um, but they roll really well with the uh, specialized turbo cotton tires on. Group set wise, I'm gonna go for strap red. Um, there's a choice between Strong Red and Durace, but I love the red components, love the look of the group set, love the simplicity, no wires. Um, and yeah, it's just what I'm used to, it's what I've ridden for a couple of years now, so um, I'm going to go with the Strong Red group set in there as well. I think best to get all the gear over to James in the tech centre. What's yeah, particular about his, uh, his bouncer? Oh. Uh, there's a, there's a lot of things get changed from one, once we've got this shop, maybe changing all sorts of Buy really expensive stuff, have all the living daylights out and bring it back in and cry. Anything on this that you wouldn't have done or you would have done differently? I probably would have went for Shimano to be fair rather than Shimano. Like certain, like certain handlebars you'll only ride and certain wheels and positions have to be like, if you can't get that bike in the position that you want to it
Oh, there's another one of Dave's done. Let's go and see if he likes it. Dave's new bike. Very nice. Yeah, so here's the finished bike. Um, you might be able to tell from the smile on my face, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. James and the guys at the Tech Center did a great job putting this together for me. Um, love the overall look of the finished build. The Alpine and wheels with the town wall turbo cotton tires look spot on. Spected up with a red group set, as I mentioned earlier. And at the front of the bike, as I mentioned this, we've put the Pro Vibe carbon handlebars. People who know the Tarmac SL7 will know that it comes with an Aerofly. Uh, integrated aero bar as standard. Um, I prefer round handle bar, so I've gone with the pros at the front. Cable route is super tidy, looks super neat, and overall, really, really happy with how the bike's turned out. it all together, get a sword. And the police roadblock. Hey, so I'm sitting there, corner. This works, corner. <laughs>